The Flair Nation YouTube game, what it do, man? It's your boy Duffy. You already know the vibes, man. We're back with another daily video as usual, y'all. But look, y'all, before we hop in the video today, go ahead and stop what y'all doing, man, and make sure y'all drop a like on the video right now. If you did not know, man, dropping a like on the video helps the video out so much, man. It pushes the video to recommend it, which allows more people to see the video, and which all in all builds the gang up, man. And what's better than recruiting more family members to the squad, you feel me? And, um... Right now, we are currently 11 subscribers away from 2.5K, man. So if you're new to the channel, man, do not forget to hit that subscribe button for your boy. It is much appreciated. And if you did not know, I post every single day on my YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I'm posting every single morning, and I have not missed a daily upload for about six months now, y'all. It's really crazy, man. We about to, hey, we half a year in, man. We finna keep pushing for the year mark, too, and then on and on and on, man. You feel me? But, um, excuse me. Um, if you haven't already, man, make sure y'all turn on your post notifications so you do not miss these daily bangers every single morning. And if you want to drop by for the streams and stuff, man, I stream daily or every single night. I guess you could say nightly on my Twitch, man. So, hey, the Twitch is the same as all my other socials, man. Duffy LaFleur. So, if you want to follow up over there and see some live gameplay, man, by all means, feel free to. But look, y'all, I ain't going to waste too much more of y'all's time, man. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Yeah, if you're hearing this man, you got caught lacking, man. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, we're back. As you can see from the thumbnail in the title today, man, I got the top three shooting badges in the game. And I'm telling y'all now, but listen, listen, listen. If y'all put these badges on, listen, if y'all put these three badges on, man. I'm telling y'all now, y'all gonna notice a significant difference in y'all's game, bro. It's definitely for the better. And listen, bro, these badges are overpowered, bro. They will help you win more games in the park, win more games in the events, any up, all that stuff, man. I'm telling you now, you these three badges are, are necessities, bro. And you need them, bro. I'm telling y'all now, bro. These badges go crazy, y'all. All right, but look, we're gonna go over to the um we're going over to the shooting badges real quick. Oh. Alright. So, we got the shooting badges, man. We're going to start this off at number three, man. Coming at number three on the list. Now, it varies. I'm not going to lie. It definitely varies because I'm a ISOer. So, I like to use stop and pop for my number three most overpowered badge because it boosts your shots on standstill three-pointers. So, after you get done, you know, comboing up and dribbling <clears throat> and you, you just stop and pop. I mean, well, yeah, stop and pop. <laughs> <laughs> it boosts your shot, bro, and it's really overpowered, y'all. And um, but it's definitely number three on the list because these other two badges are just too overpowered, bro. I ain't gonna lie, stop and pop number three. Um, if you didn't know, number two, man, number two. It's it can't. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It is a hard decision, bro. But I'm gonna have to go with blinders. Blinders is definitely the second most overpowered badge in this game because the jump shots taken with the defender closing out in the peripheral vision will suffer a lower penalty. So that means they can be on the literally side of you and you have Blinders Hall of Fame, they're not going to get a contest because you have this badge on. So if they're behind you, on the side of you, in front of you, but like they're not like, you know, I like got the hands up, Blinders is going to kick in and you're not going to get a contest, bro. Blinders is definitely overpowered because this works on fading shots, standstill shots, like moving shots, um, hop stop, hop, hop step shots. Bro, it's literally overpowered, bro. And I definitely think this is a necessity badge for any point guard on this game because, listen, the contest is already, man, it's already hard as it is. So if you have to, you have to put this badge on so you can lower the contest, bro. I'm telling y'all now, bro. If you haven't rocked with blinders yet, bro, make sure you rock with blinders, bro. Now, number one, man, is definitely hot shot. <laughs> hot shot is overpowered in this game, y'all. You shoot two threes with this badge, or two jump shots in general, bro, in this badge, and make them or green them, whatever. You have your double takeover, bro. Hot shot is a necessity, bro. You need this badge because, listen, if you do not rock this badge, you are at a disadvantage, bro. Because I'm telling y'all now, everybody is rocking this badge. So, if you want to take over, you got to put that hot shot on, bro. I'm telling y'all now, bro. It's definitely the most overpowered shooting badge in this game. Because, look, it just says it all, man. It gives an additional boost towards 
takeover progress after making jump shots. Now, hey, if that don't give it to you, give you the give you the way to you, man, I don't know what does, bro. Cause this badge goes crazy, y'all. And I'm telling y'all now, you put these three badges on, man, it's going to make life easier on this game, bro. Because listen, at first, this are it's easy to shoot on this game, bro. But like I wasn't in the feel for it because you know it doesn't have vibration. You know, you gotta know your jump shot. And I didn't really have badges, but once I put these three badges on, man, I just noticed a difference. Now, for the other badges, bro, you're probably asking about Hot Zone Hunter, Deep Threes, Dead Eye, you know, stuff like that. Them, I feel like this too easy to shoot in the game already. So, basically, you could just, after you get these three main badges right here, first of all, I'll go for Hot Shot first, then I'll go for Blinders, and then I'll go for Stop and Pop. So, one, two, and three. But um, then after that, man, after that, I would definitely go for my Deep Threes badge, then my Hot Zone Hunter badge, because... Them two, you can get them too, bro. Like, but you need these, bro. You need these, bro. You don't need hot zones like that in this game. This is not current gen. So, hey, shout out to 2K for that, man. <laughs> but um, you do not need hot zone hunter to be consistent shooting in this game, bro. It's easy to shoot, man. Just get your good jump shot. Know your jump shot. You're going to be good, bro. Turn that meter off too, bro. Turn the meter off. Know your jump shot, bro. You're going to be good, bro. You're going to be green. But um, definitely, though, after I got these three main badges, Definitely go deep threes and hot zone just to make it that more overpowered. But um, yeah, man, these three badges, bro, they go crazy. I'm telling you, I'm not, they're like the, the trio, bro. The three musketeers, bro. These badges are just they're dummy tough, y'all. They're dummy tough. But look, that's all I got for y'all today, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. It's much appreciated. Make sure y'all like the video up as usual. And um if I see y'all boys in my video dropping tomorrow morning, or if I see y'all boys in my stream later on tonight, I'm going to see y'all boys when I see y'all, and I'm out.